Okay, so once you're in your account, there's a couple features that I recommend. If you are setting this up for a senior or elderly person and you're looking to put in some protections for them, come over here to go to your account home. And then here are some features that I recommend you turn on. First of all, 911. Make sure the correct address is here so that if they call 911, 911 will know where to come. Advanced features, if you don't want them to accept in, out, incoming calls, you only want them to be able to make outgoing calls for emergencies, you can turn that on here. You can turn on or off the voicemail indicator. That is the stutter dial tone. So if they pick up their handset, it'll be, da, 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 da. if they've got a voicemail, might not want to have that option on for them. And then call waiting, that's up to you, depending on the situation, if you want to do call waiting or not. Automated call screening is a feature you might want to turn on. Now, how this service works is every call from a non-Magic Jack number gets a message that tells them to press a random number on their keypad to let the call go through. That's to disable automated services from being able to call. But that applies to every call. So everyone that calls the phone, doctor's office or church or anyone, they'll have to um, press a number to be able to get the phone to ring. So if that's something that benefits you, I would recommend that. Call blocking. If there are numbers you don't want to be able to reach your loved one, you can block those numbers there. Call forwarding. If for some reason you need to temporarily or permanently set up the number to forward to you, you could set that up there. Voicemail on or off. You can turn this on or off right here. Turn your voicemail on or off right here. And then you can set how quick it converts over to voicemail. So if you want it to go to voicemail pretty quick, just to help screen calls, you can do that. Or you can set it longer. If your loved one takes a little bit of time to get to the phone, you can set what time you want there. And then voicemail via email. This is a feature that emails the recording to the email that you set. So you could set this up so that you know, your loved one gets the voicemails on their phone and then they can call. You can set the pin to whatever they want. They can call and get their voicemails but you could also get a copy of the recording at your email address. So if you're trying to protect them from scams or from you know, unsavory relatives or, or whatever the issue is, you could then also, you could then also get copies of those voicemails. And then caller ID name. You could put whatever name you want to put in here. You can do that for caller ID. So those are some features that I recommend, especially for seniors and the elderly.